What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. We got a fun job we're doing today. We're gonna to be going to a new construction home and we're gonna be giving them a lawn. We're not doing any sod. It's gonna be all seed, straw, and fertilizer, but it's about two acres, so it's a pretty big property. Nick's over here loading up right now. We got the bucket on the trailer already. He's throwing the forks on there now. And then we'll grab the Harley rake or the soil conditioner. And then uh, that's about it for our machinery. We got the cedar here, the LT Rich is the Junior 36. Uh, that'll seed us just fine. And then, uh, yeah, might use a blower, might use a few other little things, but nothing major. Oh, we got, a, got a hand tiller here. And then over there, we got uh, the hand cedars in that truck over there. But we got to get a lot of straw. We're going to be getting 45 bales of straw, maybe 50, somewhere in there. I figured for 40. So we're gonna get a lot more than we think we need so we don't run out. Uh, we got 750 pounds of seed going down and 500 pounds of fertilizer. So like I said, this is a pretty big job. The materials alone are really expensive on this one. So we gotta make sure we do it right, but that's what that soil conditioner is for. So that's what we got going on. Let's head over there and check it out. All right guys, so we're almost there. It's right up here on the left. Similar to where we do a lot of our jobs in what some would call the middle of nowhere. We love it. Alright, so this is it right here. The guy sprayed his whole front yard with Roundup like a month, month and a half ago. Decent size, decent size property. Should be fun. this video you probably thought this was gonna be a nice easy job it really isn't too bad but let's see what we got going on I just walked around the whole house driveway sidewalk everything and got everything raked out so got it all nice and level along the sidewalks about 18 inches out as wide as my come along so good enough for the skid loader to come by and do its thing
what we got. Straw blower. 50 bales. Leaning tower of straw bales. Didn't lose any though. And a whole bunch of seed and fertilizer. Truck full. Drones up there somewhere. Right, guys so here we are end of the day what do you think I'll show you the front too uh, it's about 3 30 or so something along those lines so not too bad I feel like we got it done in a good amount of time and it's perfect it's supposed to be nice today rest of today uh, nice tomorrow and then rain all day Wednesday. It's looking like a slow rain all day Wednesday, so we should be in good shape. The only thing that uh, that I'm seeing here is the wind on the other side of the house, over on that far corner over there, is uh, creating a little little trouble for the straw. But all in all, it looks great. Everything came out just like we wanted it to. We didn't hit anything. Nothing got broken. So. All in all, it was a success, but that's it for this one. We'll probably bring the drone back here in four or five weeks, something along those lines, and see how the grass is doing. But we pounded it with with uh, seed and fertilizer. So, and then we ended up actually using. Uh, I I figured, or the formula that I used told me I should get 40 bales. So I was like, that doesn't really sound like enough. Uh, I checked the formula again. Again, it told me 40 bales. So I told Nick to get 50 the first round. He got 50, we burnt through those and had to get another 15. So we ended up using 65 straw bales all together. Uh, we ended up spreading 700 pounds of seed and 500 pounds of fertilizer. So pretty much exactly, uh, exactly what we were thinking other than the straw. And I can almost say that I saw that coming. It just did not feel right. Uh, but I was using a formula, it's kind of hard to uh, to judge straw and I think whenever it gets blown like that it gets chopped up I think it probably uh, ends up being a little bit less than if you were just ripping it apart by hand because you can kind of stretch it pretty good that way I feel like or spreading it by hand but when you've got it going through the straw blower I think you lose a little bit uh, some of it kind of turns to particle or dust almost and uh, kind of turns into nothing but it is what it is. Straw is cheap and on big jobs like this you always got to figure in for a little extra. You never know what it's going to be but 
you always figure in for an uh oh or a, or an oopsie whatever you want to call it but but all in all i think it turned out great i'm happy with it nick's happy with it ronnie's happy with it so uh we're all pretty anal so i think it's a job well done if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button also leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought and i'll see you in the next one